Hi, Kim and I. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Thoughts. I'm doing your weekly reading for December 6th through the 12th. I hope everybody's doing well. I do want to remind you that this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can certainly check your other astrological placements and see if those readings resonate with you a little bit better. In addition to that, if you would like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, um, I'll be happy to help you with that. Just email me and the directions are in the box below. We'll get that set up for you. Um, also, uh, hopefully you guys have already subscribed to the channel. It does throw your energy in with the rest of us and that makes it a little easier for me to pick up on your story as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Jim and I, we're going to pull your energy, the energy of the person you're connected with, whether you're in communication or not. We'll get the energy of the connection and the outcome for the end of the week. Um, after that, we'll pull a few love messages as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Gemini for December 6th through the 12th, please? Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see. We have the Knight of Co of I'm sorry, the Knight of Coins in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in the upright. Interesting. And we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So I feel like there is some kind of a message here that you're either waiting for or you're wanting to give. This is a situation that you are very passionate about. Um, however, I feel like in the past there have been a lot of obstacles. Um, those obstacles are beginning to fall away. And that's a very good thing. I feel as if you are not quite as um, defensive as you have been in the past. So either you're waiting for communication or you are communicating something. But whatever the situation is, it was pretty much blocked in the past. It's now opening up. Um, but you're still kind of on the fence. You're still waiting to see, you know, because this offer is not really quite coming through yet. There's there's some kind of a very tangible offer um, that you're looking for. And I feel as if it's just kind of stalled. Like you feel like you've been stuck in this situation for a minute. But I can see that it's beginning to give way. Um, let's see what is going on with the person you're connected with. Person that Gemini is connected with. Show me the person that Gemini's connected with. This is too many cards, but we're taking the bottom. Show me the energy of the person Gemini is connected with, please. There it is. Okay, so we have the hangman in reverse. We have the page of coins in the reverse. And we have the nine of wands. Okay, so Gemini, your person here is, um, they could be very a little bit younger than you, or they may just be a little bit more immature, um, but pages generally indicate like a younger energy. It can be a younger person, but can also just indicate a younger energy. Um, with the page of coins in the reverse, I feel as if that's the offer that you've been waiting for. This person is kind of holding back. Um, they're not really, they're not really bringing this forward, and I feel as if they are still defensive. Now you've dropped your defensive energy, but I feel like they're kind of defensive. They're still hopeful, um, and they're still hanging in there. But I feel like they, they're trying to get a new perspective on this connection. Um, but there is some defensiveness still left, and some holding back. Um, they're not really coming forward with this, and I feel like this is what you're waiting on. So I do think that they, they've they kind of been in this holding pattern, and you're kind of mirroring each other here, because here this is, this is waiting energy, stagnant energy. Over here with the hangman, which they're coming out of, they've had stagnant energy as well. Um, this is the offer that you're waiting for. Um, they're withholding the offer. You're, you're in a mode of communication, though, so you've shifted. They're just shifting in their thoughts right now, and both of you at some point have been defensive, but you're already, you're already out of that energy, and they're still standing in that energy. So I feel like you're just a little bit ahead of them in this process, but that the two of you are actually somewhat mirroring each other. 
Let's look at the energy of the connection, Gemini. Can I see the energy of the connection that Gemini is in, please? Okay, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Two of Swords. So someone just can't make up their mind here about, you know, about a love situation, about offering this love. So someone's not... They, a decision needs to be made here, but it seems as if someone is avoiding this decision. They're trying to, they're trying to use their thoughts over their heart, and so there's a decision with, with regard to offering love, and someone's resisting that decision in this connection. Um, what is the challenge to this situation? What is the challenge to the connection? Show me the challenge. There it is. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So there may be another situation that needs to end. The Four of Wands in the reverse is a lack of, all, of stability as well. So this situation is definitely not stable. There seems to be a lot of stagnant energy. Um, somebody not wanting to make a decision with regard to love. Um, and whether or not to offer this love, whether or not to bring this love in. Um, and it could be, and that won't be for everybody, but it could be um, that it's because a situation, another situation needs to end. Um, but that's not for everybody. And also, when you get the Four of Wands, um, sometimes this can indicate a Twin Flame union as well. It's um, known as the 1111 card. And so that could be also what's taking place here. There could be um, lessons still that need to be learned in order for this to move forward. All right, so what is the outcome at the end of the week for Gemini, please? And we have the chariot in reverse. So unfortunately, Gemini, whatever this situation is, is not going to be moving forward um, by the end of the week. Um, not to say it won't move forward, but it does look like you're in a bit of a holding pattern. And the person you're dealing with is lagging behind you in this. And I feel as if you're beginning to move forward, um, which is a good thing. So uh, there is going to be some shifts, but it's not going to completely shift by the end of the week. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the four of coins in the reverse. So there is something about letting go, um, bringing down your defenses, letting something go, um, something that you once held on to very tightly. And I feel as if, you know, you're beginning to release that. So let's go ahead now and get clarification on everything. Spirit, why is the Knight of Coins here for Gemini? Why is the Knight of Coins here for in reverse for Gemini? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So... Yeah, there was a, this situation wasn't moving forward because there was some kind of deception in it. Now, the Queen of Wands in reverse can indicate that um, some somebody had a, a third-party situation here, which may very well be what's going on here with this challenge as well. But um, when you get the Seven of Swords along with the Queen of Wands, um, and the Queen of Wands is in the reverse, so... It, um, depending on where you fit into the situation, Gemini, um, I feel as if this, this situation is not moving forward. It's stagnant because one party did not want to be, did not want to be the other woman or the other man. Um, you know, they didn't want to be a third party. And so that's kind of ground this to a halt. Why is the Knight of Wands here? For others, it's just that somebody is just not taking action. Um, and they're, you know, they're in denial of, of their feelings. And that is falling on your energy, um, Gemini. So that would be you not taking action. Um, and that's what's kind of keeping this a little bit stuck. And it's because you're avoiding something. Now, with the Knight of Wands, that is some movement forward. And it's very passionate, too. So it's something you're passionate about. So what's moving forward? Well, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and we have Temperance. So basically, um, I feel as if you're trying to balance out your emotions here. You are doing a lot of healing, and especially if this is a Twin Flame connection, 
you're being guided, but um, it's not within divine timing at this point for this to be coming forward or for this communication to be coming forward. And so I feel almost as if you're being guided here before you communicate to, you know, seek balance within yourself. And I also feel like for some of you that it's just not time for this communication because some of you are waiting for this communication and you're being told that it's just not within divine timing, that healing still needs to take place here. Now, why do we have the Seven of Wands in reverse? Okay, wow, that's... All right, so we have the Empress, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Swords. So... The reason you're not feeling as defensive and a lot of these blockages are going away, Gemini, is because you, you're you elevating yourself. So the Queen of Pentacles is the Empress in a lower vibration. And so I feel as if you are recognizing your worth here and I feel like you're elevating yourself. You're, you're increasing your vibration. So you're doing exactly what Spirit is indicating for you to do which is to balance out your emotions and to find healing and that, you know, then things will shift. So you know that a change needs to occur with regard to communication, but it's just not quite time yet. And so I see that you're really working on yourself, Gemini. This is really good energy. Um, I do feel like you are still very worried and concerned. Um, and that's, that's evident that is showing up. And I do feel like that has to do with the connection and with the communication of, in the connection. However, in the meantime, what I see is that you are definitely elevating yourself. You're doing a lot of self-care. Um, I see that you're focused on your, your money, your job. I see that you're also focused definitely upon the home and upon yourself. And, you know, I, I feel like you're in a really good vibration and you're continually doing the work that is necessary for you to elevate this. It, some of the um, concerns and the worry that goes on in your head though, it has to do with just feeling lonely. There's a little bit of a loneliness that is, is taking place here. Um, I feel as if you're not in communication with this other person at this time. And I feel like that wears on you. It, it you know, and you, you definitely go into your head. You think about this person a lot. And so I, I do feel like um, you are desiring that communication, but I, I think you still have some healing to do. It, it's evident though, Gemini, that you're really doing the work here and you're really elevating yourself. Um, I will also note that the Empress is also yet another card that I generally see when there is a um, twin flame union. So this could very well be a twin flame reading as well. Um, let's look at the, the energy of the person you're connected to, Gemini. We have the hangman in reverse. Why is the hangman in reverse? Okay, so we have the nine of swords in the reverse, and we have the six of coins in the reverse. So the person you're dealing with here is trying to, they're, they're trying to heal as well. I do feel like they kind of went through a dark night of the soul, um, and they are emerging from that. They um, are trying to gain a new perspective. You may not have heard from this person in quite some time. Um, what you need to know, Gemini, is that they really went through a very difficult time. They also are in a waiting mode, but they're coming out of that. Um, I feel as if they, they are looking for an even give and take as well, but they're not very balanced at this time. So they're still trying to balance out their emotions and their feelings. For those of you that have found yourself in a twin flame situation, I do feel like this person um, realizes that they have to put an end to it, the giving to two. Um, and so that's something that they are beginning to realize and coming to a, a new perspective with. Why is the page of coins in reverse here? Uh, well, there's that two of um, swords, same two of swords that's here. Um, but it's in reverse, and we have the death card in reverse. So the reason they're not bringing forward this stable offer to you is because they've made a decision that they, or they're trying to make a decision. We see that in both places here. 
Um, they are trying to make a decision, but there's something in their life that they're just not ready to end yet. They know that in order to, to bring this offer to you, they have to end another situation and they have to make that decision to end it. So that's, we're seeing some duplicate energy here. Why is the, the Nine of Wands here? Okay. Yep, there it is again, the world in reverse and the sun. So, you know, they're still hopeful with regard to the, con the connection here. But again, with the world in reverse, they, they're not yet at the point where they're willing to put an end to something else. And we see that that is the challenge here. So the world in reverse um, tells me that they're just not quite ready. There's still some things that they feel like they're unsure about. They don't see clearly yet. And so with the nine of wands, that is getting a little bit closer to, because the 10 of wands would be, um, you know, the ending of the situation. And then you would start with the ace, which is a brand new beginning. So this person is aware that there's something that has to end, but I feel as if they're just not quite ready. I think that they're still soul searching. I think that this person is trying to come up with a, um, a new perspective on this situation, but they feel like they don't have all the facts yet. And so they're kind of, that's why they're in this stagnant energy. And meanwhile, you're over here waiting for this communication, but spirit is saying that there's, there's healing yet that needs to take place. Okay, so can I have three cards for the connection, please? Okay, we have the star in reverse. We do have the four of cups. And we have the ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, so with the... the Connection itself, I do feel as if um, the person you're dealing with here, Gemini, they they don't quite recognize um, the divinity of this relationship. I feel like they're they're kind of breadcrumbing, and I feel as if you know they're not really they're not really acknowledging the importance of this relationship. There's a lot of avoidance here. They're very unclear. So they need more time to kind of come to an understanding of what this connection is. This looks like a deeply spiritual connection. And I feel as if you understand that, but I'm not so sure that the person you're dealing with understands that. And so I feel like they're not being very clear. There's probably not, they're not communicating at this time. And if they are, it's not clear communication. Um, they know they have to make a decision though. And on your side of the board, I do feel like you're kind of holding yourself back. You, there's a sense here of almost giving up hope, but this is something that in the past you have really hoped for. Um, so there is still healing that needs to take place on, on your side of the board as well. And the person that you're dealing with really needs to come to terms with their own situation. And they need to really begin to understand the spiritual nature of this connection. So, Spirit, can I get clarification on the Four of Wands in reverse? All right, so we have the Six of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so... The challenge to this connection is to bring stability into it. For some of you, that means ending another situation. So the way the cards are reading, and you can always put yourself into the story um, where you belong, but only if the story applies to you, because I'm getting two different stories here. So for some of you guys, I feel like Gemini, you were the third party. You don't want to be a third party. You have elevated yourself. You are looking at this um, from a more spiritual standpoint, and I feel like you really recognized your value and worth, but I do see that you miss this person and you deeply desire communication. Um, and I feel like you're giving up hope a little bit. You feel like you've been breadcrumbed here. The person you're dealing with understands what they need to do, 
they need to end the connection that they have from the past in order to move this forward with you, but they're not ready to do that yet. I feel like this person is not really being honest with themselves. They know they have to make a decision, but there, there is a lot of avoidance that's going on with this person. They're just not ready yet, and they're not very balanced at this time. And I feel like this has left you feeling very defeated. Um, you're feeling, you know, a little bit hopeless and defeated about this. And I feel like they are beginning to get clarity in what they need to do. And so for the other storyline that I see here, guys, um, if there's no third party involved here, I feel as if, you know, that there has been some holding back on your side, Gemini, avoiding the connection, avoiding the, the relationship, a lack of action, which led to some stagnancy here. But again, I see healing coming into this. Again, there is not, it's not within divine timing. But you are definitely feeling lonely, seeking the company of this person, seeking communication from them. And I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, you, you're more open at this time. You're recognizing the spiritual nature of this connection and your person is just not. They're, they're not up to speed with where you are. Um, this is somebody who may have breadcrumbed you in the past, and I feel like they're just not really being honest with themselves. There's, um, there's cycles in their life that they need to end, that they're not prepared to end, and they know they have to end these cycles in order to come forward to you in a literal 3D manner. Um, I, I do feel like this person is not... They're trying to make a decision, but they feel like they don't have all the facts. They don't have all the information they need in order to make this decision. Um, but they are becoming clear, and that is the challenge here. The challenge is for them to become very clear on what it is that they want, and then to bring stability into this connection. And for you, Gemini, the challenge is for you to not give up, um, for you to you know, stay the course and bring stability into the connection. Let's go ahead and get um, for the outcome. Can I have three cards for the outcome, please? Three cards for the outcome. There, no, one more. Okay. All right, Gemini, so you're showing up in your reading that we're kind of showing up a little bit not happy. Um, I feel like um, by the end of the week, the situation is still going to remain a bit stagnant. It's not going to be moving forward. And I feel like that's going to kind of piss you off a little bit at, at, the, at the most. And at the minimum, you're just not going to be happy with the situation. Um, you are still hanging in there. You have the Nine of Wands in the outcome. Your person has the Nine of Wands in their, their energy. So you're both still hanging in there. You're both still hopeful for the situation. A lot has gone on, you know, in the past between the two of you. And I feel like you both feel a little wounded by this connection at this time. Um, I do feel like the person you're dealing with, though, is going to be putting down their burdens a little bit. So we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So your person is actually moving along in this um Remember we talked about with the Nine of Wands, then we have the Ten of Wands, and then the Ace. So the person you're dealing with, there is movement, but it's not going to be movement in the connection. It's movement within them. And I feel like they're actually beginning to release some of these burdens that's holding them back. But you may not know about that. Okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Devil in Reverse. I feel like, Gemini, your person is going through a lot that you're not aware of. They're letting go of a lot of toxicity here. And I feel like you may not be aware of it because you may not be in communication. And if you are, they're not telling you. They're withholding this information. Um, but they're changing. This person's getting a whole different perspective on this connection and upon their own life. Um, you're just ahead of them. And there is some mirroring going on here, which again leads me to believe that this may be a twin flame connection. So let's go ahead and get some... Um, some love oracle cards on the connection and on both parties. Okay, okay. 
So for you, Gemini, we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay, so you're being guided to accept the situation. For them, we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And as we all know, if it is a twin flame or a spiritual connection, that can be a very challenging connection. So your person may, may need to understand that this is not an ordinary connection. It's not going to be all, oh, where did this card come from? We're going to take that too. I don't, this card just was here. I didn't even see it come out of the deck. All right, so um, for the connection, we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So you're both being guided to find the joy in your life regardless of the way this is going. And now I'm really curious. Okay, so the one that just showed up says, My Beloved, Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, and nothing is missing. That is super powerful. Super powerful. I love that. And I love the fact that it just popped itself right out and made itself known. So, Gemini, um, I know that this is a challenging time for you. Um, there's more going on here than what you're aware of. So, hang in there and... Until I see you next time, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, and until next time, I'll, I'll give you a reading in about a week because I'm very curious now as to what's going on here, um, but until next time, namaste.